for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kenny Martin. Recently, I attended a performance of Beethoven Symphony No. 9 at Bass Hall in Fort Worth. Um, it was an amazing performance. Uh, you know, the ode to joy and the final movement, and, you know, was arguably some of the most beautiful music that has ever been composed. But the thing that I found interesting about the concert was that the only thing that gave me goosebumps was at the very beginning. The conductor, who was from Peru, walked out onto the stage, shook hands with the concert master, stepped up to the podium, and signaled for the snare drum to begin a drum roll. What came next was the Star Spangled Banner. Now, I found this to really be an embodiment of what America is all about, but not only that, what humanity is all about. Um, and it really kind of brought together this concert, the celebration of not only the arts, but of joy, of friendship, of humanity. Um, and it really gave everyone there, I think, the idea that we are here as a common people. Um, and I think that that's something that everyone needs to be reminded of from time to time. So, my mom told me a story uh, a couple years ago that she had been uh, shopping at Tom Thumb, the local Tom Thumb, and for several weeks she had enjoyed the music of an older gentleman who played the piano in the store. Um, now, it was close to Christmas time, getting colder, and one morning she walked in and the man was not playing. He was sitting at the piano and he was holding his hands, uh, rubbing them together, blowing on them. He was trying to warm his hands. Um, if any of you are musicians, you know that it's sometimes difficult to play well if you're not well warmed up. Uh, well, what she did was she gave the man his gloves, her gloves. Um, and this isn't that remarkable of a story. People are generous to each other all the time. But what does make it remarkable to me is that it displays the extraordinary power of music and of the arts in forming connections between people that would not have ever been there before. Um, these unexpected connections that you find in day-to-day -day life. Um, and I think that that's something that we need to remember about the arts is what makes them so unique in forming these connections. Um, also, let me go back to um, I think that it's very important to remember that, you know, with my mom and this man, there must have been something there, some connection, some melody that he played that may have evoked a memory from her child that brought it back to life. Um, and I think that this, you know, is really cool because I'd like for all of you to think of something that has touched you in some way, some piece of music, maybe it's a book, a novel, um, a painting, um, and think about what that has done for you and how it's changed your view on the life, on life. Um, and now think of what if you had never known that thing? What if it had never been created? And for some, maybe you haven't found anything yet that moves you in such a way, but I know that for me, life would be extremely different uh, without that thing that has touched me in that way. Speaking of, I'd like to do a little exercise here. Um, I'm going to display uh, a series of images of creations of mankind. Um, you all recognize them. And I'd just like to think about, once again, how have these things affected you, affected your friends, the world, the universe? So first we have the Mona Lisa. Next is the first movement of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. If you can't hear the tune, look it up and you'll recognize it. Homer's The Odyssey. Einstein, E equals MC squared. The cell phone. And finally, the computer. Here we have all of these revolutionary creations of mankind. Now, look what happens when we take away those connections to the arts. To me, it feels very empty on the left. Um, it's a void that nothing else will ever be able to fill. And I can tell you that if the world 
came to this, I think it would be uh, a much worse place to live in, and maybe one that is not worth living in at all. When I was preparing for this talk, um, I thought about what you know what make, really makes the art special. Um, and I know that to me, it's an amazing thing about the arts that they encourage individuality. You have, uh, you know, kids when they, you know, play a piece of music, when they paint a painting, they're learning how to create something completely new and how to innovate, come up with their own ideas. And that's something that America is going to need in the coming years as the world becomes more and more competitive. And so, if we look at a math class, typical problem, solve for X, there's only one correct answer. If we go to art class, we have many different things that you, there are an infinite number of answers that are all perfectly correct and all perfectly beautiful in their own way. And that's what really makes the arts unique. And so, for me, uh, a very alarming issue in the current time is this, you know, people get, well, China is gonna surpass us. China is going to, you know, replace us as a world power. Um, and so we should focus on math and science. To me, I find it very um, ironic that people want to emulate China and go math and science. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the cooking and stuff. Do as much as you want to The uh, first speaker of the second session will be Ellie Miller to talk searching for something.